We're back on Colton's computer with another fine arts tutorial. This one will be in Photoshop again. So here's a little sneak peek of what we're going to do today. So command N, open a new project. I'm going to call it Ghost Text 2. So this video is going to be in accordance with my previous video, um, how to ghost an image in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is grab our paint bucket tool, go ahead and douse our background in black. Alright, next up, get that type tool, nice Helvetica, type in all caps, blur, and let's open our controls up here, and we don't want to be normal, so we're going to change the letting here. Alright, now once we've got that, we're going to move on over to the move tool centered up just eyeball and we're going to duplicate three times giving us four blur layers alright so with the first one selected I'm gonna move over to filter blur motion blur this is just like our previous video you're gonna ask to be rasterized you're gonna hit OK the only thing that changes here is it's going to lose its little T symbol giving it a picture pixel based layer all right, you're going to go at 90 degrees at 150 pixels. Hit OK there. Go to the next one up. You're going to do the same thing, except this time you're going to make it zero degrees. Hit OK. Uh, once you've done that, we are going to use a very useful option for do, applying a filter to multiple layers. So merge down by Command Z that for you. You can hit Command E and it'll do the same thing. All right. Once I've done that, I'm going to go over to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, because what I'm going to do is soften up these little edges right here. And so, but I'm going to do it at two pixels. Hit Enter. The one above that, I'm going to apply again to rasterize it. Yes get at 8 pixels and you're going to hit OK. This layer, the purpose of this layer, the previous layers, Gaussian Blur, was to soften up the effect. This layer is only, let me show you what's going to happen here because I'm going to cancel that. This layer is only just the words. So when I apply this Gaussian Blur, it is going to give it this nice glow effect. So when used with the other layers, it really pops right here. So going to command E like we previously learned the merge down right there. After that we're going to go over to our gradient tool which is this guy. I know that's not that guy. It's this guy. And we're going to right click anywhere. Make sure you've got this one selected. If your foreground and background layers are funky you're going to hit D to change them out. To get them back to normal Okay, then the last important thing here, it's normally going to be right here. You're going to want to make it reflected gradient. So what that's going to do if I do a gradient going this way, it's going to do that gradient, but also one in the opposite direction. So with white as your foreground layer, you're going to hold shift, which is going to which is a useful tool for gradients because it's going to make sure that it's always in a straight line. So hold down shift, go from the middle of blur to the top of blur, release. Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing. Add a layer mask and with that selected you're going to do what I just told you but make sure hit make sure you hit D success alright now that looks kinda of funky so we are going to command J multiple times to bring out that blur in the center there add an adjustment layer to the top go down to hue and saturation colorize to add the effect to the entire image type in one two three and bring down the saturation to give it a little ghostly effect and that is blur ghosting a text in photoshop